If you're watching this video, you may have experienced the unbearable pain of a cluster headache. Cluster headaches are a series of intensely painful headaches that can persist for weeks or even months at a time. The pain can be so severe that most people can't sit still and will even pace back and forth during an attack. Experts don't know exactly what triggers them, but a nerve in your face is involved creating intense pain around one of your eyes. The nerve that's affected, called the trigeminal nerve, is responsible for sensations such as heat or pain in your face. It's near your eye and it branches up to your forehead, across your cheek, down your jaw, and above your ear on the same side. You experience a cluster headache when this nerve pathway in the base of your brain is triggered. Experts believe the signal comes from a deeper part of the brain called the hypothalamus. Cluster headaches come on fast, reaching their full force in only 5 or 10 minutes. The pain is almost always local to one side of your head where it stays for the full headache period. The pain is described as a burning or piercing sensation which may be throbbing or constant. You'll feel the pain focused around or behind one eye, but it may spread to your forehead, temple, nose, or cheek. Your entire scalp might become tender, and you can often feel your blood pulsing. A cluster headache can last up to 3 hours, but may be as short as 15 minutes. During a headache period, you may have as few as one every other day, while others get them up to 8 times per day. Dubbed alarm clock headaches, cluster headache attacks are highly predictable, seemingly linked to your body's circadian rhythm. They generally happen at the same time every day, with nighttime attacks being worse than daytime ones. Attack periods range anywhere from 2 weeks to 3 months. In between these periods, people are generally headache-free. Although cluster headaches are highly predictable, they can be spontaneously triggered by external factors. When you're in a cluster period, you'll be far more sensitive to alcohol and nicotine. Just a bit of alcohol can trigger a severe attack. Interestingly, cluster headaches are far more common in smokers and heavy drinkers. During a cluster period, it's highly advised that you avoid alcohol, cigarette smoke, intense exercise, strong smells, and bright light. Foods that contain nitrates like bacon and lunch meat should also be avoided. If you start to feel a sudden pain around your eye, you might have triggered a cluster attack. Your eye may also feel swollen or begin drooping. Other symptoms of a sudden attack include eye-watering, sweating, a runny or congested nose, red face, and sudden sensitivity to light. In this event, it's important that you find a quiet place to sit down where you won't be bothered if possible. Get comfortable and focus on your breathing. The goal here is to take control of your nervous system using deep and rhythmic breathing techniques. When your body's stressed, you tend to take shorter breaths than normal. During a cluster attack, aim for slow, deep, steady breaths. Breathe in slowly through your nose as you count to five. When you breathe in, pull the air into your belly. Feel it expand as your lungs fill. Breathe out through your nose with a long, slow breath while again counting to five. Pull your belly in as you empty your lungs. Repeat this technique and try to relax more with each breath. Breathing exercises have real effects on your body that help keep you calm and control your stress. For people who suffer from cluster headaches, these techniques can be a key part of treatment. The most effective treatments for cluster headaches are two-pronged treatments that act quickly to abort attacks and treatments that totally prevent future attacks. These treatments relieve symptoms, shorten periods of headaches, and reduce their frequency. Oftentimes, pain medications like ibuprofen or aspirin are too slow to effectively reduce pain in a cluster event. Remember, this video is for educational purposes only. You should always talk with your doctor about specific medications and treatment plans for you. One of the most effective and fast-acting treatments to alleviate pain caused by a cluster headache is inhaling 100% oxygen. Breathing in oxygen through a mask at 7 to 10 liters per minute can reduce symptoms in as little as 15 minutes and even better results have been achieved using up to 15 liters per minute. It's not always practical to have an oxygen cylinder and regulator on standby, but small units are available for personal use. You should always have one in your home if you suffer from cluster headaches. 80% of attacks are completely terminated with oxygen therapy. In other words, an oxygen mask will usually stop a cluster headache dead in its tracks. Doctors may also prescribe a medication called sumatriptan a nasal spray known to relieve the severe symptoms of cluster headaches. 
The spray acts as a selective serotonin receptor agonist, causing blood vessels in the brain to constrict, thereby relieving pain. Sumatriptan is also administered in injectable form. The second part of treatment focuses on preventative therapy using daily medication. Determining which medication to use depends on the length and regularity of episodes. Under the guidance of your doctor, you can taper off the medicine once the expected length of the cluster period ends. The most popular medications here are corticosteroids and calcium channel blockers. Corticosteroids are potent, fast-acting anti-inflammatory medications that are effective for many people who suffer from cluster headaches. Doctors will prescribe corticosteroids if your cluster headache started recently or if you have brief cluster periods and long remissions. Although highly effective, serious side effects such as diabetes, hypertension, and cataracts make them inappropriate for long-term use. Calcium channel blockers are typically the first choice for preventing cluster attacks. They're often used amongst other medications and longer-term use may be needed to prevent the symptoms of chronic cluster headache. Side effects can include constipation, nausea, fatigue, swelling of the ankles, and low blood pressure. Other preventative treatments may be used to prevent cluster headaches, including anti-seizure medications and nerve-numbing anesthetics. It's important that you stick to a regular sleep schedule during a cluster period. Attacks can be triggered when you deviate from your normal pattern of sleep. During a cluster period, do your best to follow your usual sleep routine. In addition to potentially helping you sleep during this time, melatonin has shown modest effectiveness in treating nighttime attacks and relieving pain. Arguably most important, avoid alcohol at all costs. Beer, wine, and alcohol consumption of any kind can rapidly trigger a headache during a cluster period. As you may know, living with cluster headache can be frightening and difficult. On top of being excruciatingly painful, the attacks can leave you feeling drained and depressed. In many cases, they can negatively affect people's relationships and quality of life. It can be difficult for people who don't suffer from cluster headache to understand what people who do are dealing with. Talking to a therapist might help you cope with the effects the headaches have on day-to-day -day living. Start by seeing your primary care doctor and having a discussion. They'll assess your situation and most likely refer you to a specialist trained in treating brain and nervous system disorders like a neurologist. Your doctor might also be able to recommend a therapist or a support group in your area. I hope you found this video helpful. I'll leave links to some relevant studies in the description if you'd like to learn more. You can also like this video and consider subscribing. It goes a long way for my channel. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon.